Welcome back to another episode of Sip to Tally Films, and today I'm going to give you my one and only mock draft for the draft season coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm using the Draft Network, um, and they have a little machine you can play with, and I play with it all the time, especially when I'm bored. And I'm going to make the pick and give a little commentary on each of the 32 first round picks. So um, don't want to hold you too long, kind of go through it and, and tell you what I think the team needs, and I may may look at what the the draft network says they need but and i may not depending on how i feel about a, diff, a certain team all right so we don't, without further ado let's uh get this jumping all right welcome back this is coach evans again and if she's the first time here please hit that like button uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, we pushing on up, pushing on up. We about mm, halfway so to 6K. We sitting like 5, 550, 5,500, somewhere up in there. So, um, you know, just keep pushing, keep sharing, and I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Uh, let's get this uh, draft started, this mock draft started. Uh, where's the start button? Oh, here it is. Start the draft. All right, first up, which I think is a no-brainer, I think Clemson. Quarterback Trevor Lawrence going to the Jaguars. Um, that's my two cents, and it's you know, a lot of people think that. A lot of people think that, but let's go. I play two Jets. Now this thing has Zach Fields as the number two quarterback, or number two prospect rather. I just don't think so. I think Justin Fields better than him. I think Justin Fields pushing close to Trevor Lawrence, but that's that's my two cents, and you know. I just think Justin Fields is going to be a better NFL quarterback than Zach Wilson. So I'm going to give the Jets Justin Fields. All right, San Francisco. San Francisco can kind of groom Zach Wilson to be a better Jimmy G. And so I think they'll take Zach Wilson there. They're kind of in the same mold, so to speak. Falcons. This is when the draft really starts at four. Because the first three are going to be quarterbacks. Whether I got them in the right order or not, the first three are going to be quarterbacks. And um, I can see I can see two and three flip-flop. I can see Justin Fields in San Francisco, and I can see Zach Wilson in the Jets. But I just got it that way. Um, four. Let's see. Let's talk about what, what the Falcons have and not looking at their needs. They got two good receivers. They got a, what I think is a decent tight end, Hayden Hurst. Um... Matt Ryan, not trash, but he's not good either. Not right now. But I think part of him not being good is because of O-line. So if I'm if I'm the Falcons, I'm going to take O-line. So I get the Falcons, Pene Sewell. All right, going to the Bengals. Bengals need O-line too because if you saw the recent picture of the Bengals' new uniforms that I saw on Twitter, you see that huge scar on Joe Burrow's knee. So... If I'm them, I'm taking Slater. I'm taking Slater. So now the Dolphins at six. Dolphins got a lot of young talent. Um, probably need to help Tua with some some weapons. So I think they go Jamar Chase here. Pick seven. Um, the quarterback in Den I mean in Detroit is now um, Jared Goff. Do they really believe in Jared Goff? I don't know. I don't know. So. This is where I'm going to slide Trey Lance. I'm going to slide Trey Lance to Detroit at 7. Because I don't think they really believe in Jared Goff. And they need a guy that can come in and have some longevity like Stafford had for them. And it's easier to... Well, I ain't going to say it's easier. It's, it's probably imperative that they find a, a long-term answer sooner rather than later for the franchise sake. All right, go to, to pick 8, which is Carolina. And Carolina has um, Teddy Bridgewater, that quarterback... Uh, they should get um, Mr. Spin move back at running back. That's uh, Christian McCall McAllister. Uh, not McCaffrey. I'm saying McAllister. Christian McCaffrey. Um, and Teddy don't push it down the field a lot. So go with Pitts. The intermediate route game would, would be off the chain for Pitts and Teddy because Teddy don't push it down the field a lot. And, you know, you have, you have Pitts. Not Pitt. Yeah, Pitts, you know, in the flat to intermediate on the left, and you have um, McCaffrey out the backfield on the right. That's, that's a you know, then you can sneak somebody down the field for a deep shot. 
So, you know, I think that's where, you know, they went go with that. Um, nine, they were talked that Denver wanted another quarterback because they weren't really so long on lock. But um, I'm gonna, I think they're going to go certain right here. Or certain, however you say his name. Um, Cowboys. Cow- Jalen Waddle is up right there. I don't think they need a receiver because they have one of the best receiving cores out right now. Uh, their defense is kind of suspect. So I, I give them J.C. Horn. J.C. Horn is, is a long, lengthy corner. Uh, probably one of the better corners. Well, obviously, one of the better corners is a top 10 pick. But I think um, his length and his tenacity is going to help them, you know, build their secondary up. Because they got offensively, except for O-line, the Cowboys set, except for O-line. But defense, is, is, you know, leaves a lot to desire to be desired by the Cowboys. The Giants. Giants got a great defensive front seven. Uh, probably need some some weapons for um, Daniel Jones, so I'm gonna give him Jalen Waddle here. Jalen Waddle, Eagles love drafting speed. They back they drafted a bunch of fast guys the other day. Um, Wooden hurts love to have Devontae Smith back, probably, but they need some protection. So I'm gonna go Darisaw. Go Darisaw for for the Eagles. All right, the Chargers they need a tackle. They just had uh, what, the offensive rookie of the year with uh, their quarterback, who probably shouldn't have played a down. But I, I digress. I'm not going to keep speaking on it. I'm going to eventually let it go one day. Um, Tech got off track. Think about that again. <laughs> that boy shouldn't even been on the field. Tyrod got screwed. But um, back to the draft. Uh, they got a young, what's the linebacker from Oklahoma? Uh, Murray. So sticking another guy next to him would be good with Parsons. But what do they have at receiver? They got Keenan, and I don't know if they still got Big Mike. Uh, they got Hunter Henry at tight end. I'm going to give him Devontae Smith. Give him Devontae Smith. Give that man some more weapons, and maybe he'll have a even more productive sophomore year. Uh, Vikings. Vikings, what do they have? On offense, they got... Um, Jordan Jefferson, uh, Justin Jefferson, they got um, Thielen, they got Davin Cook, they got Kirk Cousins at QB, stuck with that long, want drawn out contract. Um, they they picked a lot of corners last year because they were short on corners, but I think they need O line, so I'm gonna give them uh, A V T. I keep messing his name, his first name up, but Vera Tucker from U C U S C. All right, the pa- the Patriots. Patriots, they they ran it back with Cam, um, so they probably need a long term QB because they're not comfortable with Cam. I don't think, but Michael Parsons is on the board and he can do a lot of things. He, he's very versatile and and Bill likes those versatile guys. So, but again, again, he like this Jalen Phillips right there too. Jalen Phillips is right there too. But I'm going to go with Michael Parsons. Let, let Bill Belichick take Michael Parsons and do a bunch of things with him. I think he can develop that guy into uh, an elite talent in the um, NFL. And they, I think they're getting their middle linebacker, too, that their starting middle linebacker that opted out. I forget his name for the for the uh, Patriots. But I think he's coming back also. Uh, Cardinals. Got quarterback. Um, who, who do they have at running back? I'm not sure. Pat Peterson left, so they probably need a corner. Uh, they got Isaiah Wilson, but I don't know what they want to do with Isaiah Wilson. Hmm. And if I do look at that thing, it say Tim needs a cornerback, interior O line, running back, tight end, cornerback again. Do they jump all the way up and take Greg Newsom? Because they they lost Pat Pete, so they need DBs. I'm gonna give him Greg Newsom, from Northwestern. The Raiders. The Raiders. The Raiders. So they got Derek Carr, but they got rid of pretty much all their O linemen. And I would I would give them Mac Jones. But they lost so they lost so many O lines. So I'm gonna give them Tevin Jenkins from Oklahoma State. The Dolphins. Again. Don't need quarterback. Edge will help. So uh they'll keep Jalen Phillips at home in Miami. Uh the football team. Alex Smith retired on the day, which was a great story. I think Alex Smith just had to prove to himself that he could do the rehab and get back on the field. And he did that this year. And every time he took a snap, I ain't going to lie, I cringed. 
But salute to Alex Smith on your retirement and the fight, the struggle, the perseverance, the stick to itiveness that you had to to just come back and, and play a, in the NFL. So I salute you, Alex Smith. But uh, as far as their needs, their front seven on defense is crazy. The front four is all first round picks. Uh, who is their quarterback now? Because they got rid of Haskins and then Alex Smith retired. I don't even know who their quarterback is. Who is the the, the, the team quarterback? Mm, I can't remember. But do I do? Should Mac Jones go there? Because mm, they don't need edge. They don't only think they need linebacker. They probably could use safety with Morey. Yeah, I'm gonna give him Trayvon Morey. All right. Bears, I mean, yeah, the Bears up. They got um, Andy Dalton as their QB. Um, I'm gonna give them let let them get uh, JOK Jeremiah Owusu Koromaya. Uh, that I, I like that dude. I really, really, really like that dude. And um, if I'm not mistaken, Notre Dame. I mean, they used to play some games in 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 Chicago Stadium, but I don't know if they still do. Uh, the Colts up. Colts. Mac Jones, Quiddy Pay, Aziz Ojolera, Zayvon Collins. I've been hearing a lot about him lately. Najee Harris. The coach got a running back, though. Um, give Quiddy Pay to go because they got a pretty good uh, like middle linebacker crew. So give them an edge guy to kind of help them help them out defensively. Uh, the Titans. Titans lost receiver. Mm, they still got AJ. They picked up... Um, Oh, they lost tight end too, but not tight end not in the first round, no. Hmm. Lost clowning. Hmm. I think Aziz fits them. To go I was go down there with Jeffrey Simmons and um give them some 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 defensive production because they lost cornerback too. They lost um the guy from Vicksburg to the Cardinals. I forgot about that. Uh, the guy that had the interception in the Super Bowl for the Patriots. Uh, I forget, Malcolm, whatever his name is. So, yeah, let's give him Aziz to, to help out with that. Uh, the Jets, again, back at it. So, obviously, they don't need quarterback because they picked that up already. Um, linebackers, they got both former Ravens linebackers. They got... um. I can't remember their names now because they don't play with Ravens anymore. But both of the Ravens' former linebackers are with um, the Jets. Uh, running back. Who did they have at running back? Was Gore their running back this year? Mm. I think Gore was their running back. Because Dalton's gone. Oh, that's who's in. Uh, that's who was in, in Carolina, I think. Sam Don and then Donner go to Carolina. That's what I think with the Carolina. I think. But let's give them um they need tackle. But uh, Leatherwood's way down there at 31. I wouldn't jump up and get Leatherwood. Hmm. And they in the NFC East. So I had to stop some people. Let's give them Collins. Let's give them Collins. Zayvon Collins. Steelers. I think Steelers taking Najee Harris is like no no brainer. They they need a running back. Uh, Jaguars up again. Um, they got a good running back. Had a great rookie year. Uh, receivers they probably need. So I'm gonna go with um. Probably need interior line too. But you want to get Buddy some weapons already to help him out. I think they still got Chark. Chalk. However you say it. DJ Chalk. Chark or however you say it. Um, again, they don't need running back. Did they ever replace Calais? I don't think they did. So let's go with let's go with Barrymore. Christian Barrymore. Christian Barrymore. The Browns are up. Browns don't need edge because they got Miles Garrett and Clowney. 
Uh, they did get rid of their D tackle, so one of the D tackles. Linebacker, what do they have at linebacker? I'm not sure. Secondary, they they okay in secondary, especially because they'll get dealt it coming back. Offensive wise, they had the good old the good right tackle. Uh, their old line was straight. Their old line was straight. Receivers, they got juice. They got um, they got they straight air receiver. Hmm. So for for Cleveland here, they'd probably go BP um, BPA, because they're not gonna get a quarterback because they got Baker, they got the two headed monster running back, their receiving core is good. They got two good tight ends, uh, the O line. Maybe somebody go on the other side of uh, I think it's work work was worse is the one they had. So I I'll go with them with with Leatherwood right here. They go Leatherwood. All right, my team's up, Baltimore. Um, Mac Jones, ATN, Bateman, Javante Williams, Jason o Oe from Penn State, the fast kid. Caleb Farley still there. Landon Dickerson, interior O line. I gotta go to Bateman. Go to Bateman. Even though I love um, the kid from LSU, but I gotta go with Bateman right here. All right, the Saints. <sighs> Saints got rid of Drew Brees. We're well, not got rid of Drew Brees. Retired. So they got a two. They got two people fighting for the quarterback job. Jameis and. Talk about their FaceTime. See how to stop this. Had to stop that. Uh, they got Jameis and um. Taysom Hill battling for the quarterback spot. Running back they got Kamara. Linebacker, uh, Javen Davis from Kentucky. Edge, they still got my boy that's always a a handful when you play him in Madden, uh, Cameron Jordan. Uh, receiver, Elijah Moore. You know what? I think this is where Farley goes to the Saints to help them out defensively. Green Bay. Green Bay. So Aaron Rodgers has been screaming for a number two, a legit number two for a long time. Um, but I think he made made okay with the guys he had. But is there a stud right here that can be a number two? These people have uh, Elijah Moore up here above Terrence Marshall. They have Tony above Terrence Marshall. I don't think either one of those guys are better than Terrence Marshall. So I'm going to give A-Rod Terrence Marshall. Bills. Bills. Got a quarterback. Got two okay running backs. Um... Defense is where they probably need to be better. They're good at they they're okay in the secondary. They got the uh the big fast linebacker in the middle. They got two line uh, they got a black kid and a white kid. I can't remember the names, but I know they're pretty darn good. They just signed the white kid to extension. Um I can't remember his name. But they them two middle linebackers are good. Them two little linebackers are good. Uh I wanna give them Jason o Owe, I have you say his name, but I just I don't like him. When I watched him against Ohio State, he did nothing. And that was the best team they played that year. He did nothing but chase some people down and never got there. Now he fast. He fast. Oh, how about giving them a corner to go opposite of um their good corner? So let's go Stokes right here. Go Stokes. Even though he don't get a lot of balls thrown at him because the corner on the other side is pretty darn good. Um Chiefs, I mean, you know, crazy, you can go uh, Tony here. You can go any one of these tackles, and they need a tackle bad. But I hate to put Cosme in the first round, but they need tackles. So Cosme going in the first round. And then the Bucks, quarterback. Mm, nah, no, they want a guy for the future, maybe. Running back. They got two good running backs. Receivers. They did not sign A.B. back yet. Um, Edge. They like speed over there, too. I think this is where Dickerson goes. I think Landon Dickerson goes to, to, to the Bucks to close out round one. So they can start preparing for, you know, life after Tom Brady. Because I think this may be Tom's last hoorah if it's... Win or lose is maybe his last hoorah. But um, 
that's my mock draft, man. I appreciate you guys for, for coming through. Let's recap real quick. Uh, Jacksonville took Trevor Lawrence. The Jets took Justin Fields. San Francisco took Zach Wilson. Uh, the Falcons took Pene Sewell. Bengals took Rashawn Slater. That's just top five. Uh, at six, Jamar Chase goes to Miami and plays with Tua. Funny. Uh, Trey Lan- I think Trey Lance goes to the Lions. Um, Carolina takes Kyle Pitts to, to help out um, Sam Donald or Teddy Bridgewater, whichever one's the quarterback. Uh, Denver gets Sertan to um, kind of help bolster their defense, especially out there in that division. You're going to need some corners. You got to have some corners. And I don't know if, how many good ones they got, if they got a good one. He may jump in and be the number one corner already. Not sure of their roster. Uh, Cowboys, J.C. Horn. The Cowboys set offensively except for O-line. So I kind of gave them the, the the next best cornerback on the board. And and most people have Horn better than Sertan anyway. Um, but that's what we got right here. All right, that's, that's one through ten. Eleven. Giants went offense to help out Daniel Jones because their defense is, their defense is okay. Not the Lions. I'm sorry, the Giants. I think I said the Lions, but the Giants. Their defense, are, their defense is, is straight. Don't don't sleep on the Giants' defense this year. Uh, Darisaw goes to Philadelphia to have some protection, whether he plays left or right, or maybe even slide in the guard for the Eagles. Uh, the Chargers picks up Devonte Smith to give um, Justin Herbert some more weapons to go along with Keenan, and I, I I can't remember if they still got Mike. But just think about Devontae Smith on the opposite side of Keenan. You know Keenan going to get the coverage. Devontae can do his thing. Um, and they got Hunter Henry, too, who's not a bad tight end. Uh, get the Vikings uh, interior line to kind of help, you know, roll grade for Davin Cook and to protect uh, Kirk Cousins, who's not very mobile. How you like that? 15, New England takes Michael Parsons, and Bill Belichick going to have him doing everything, playing deep safety, coming off the edge, looping, stunting. Uh, that's a four. Four, that's one of the many 4-3 guys this um, draft season. And Bill Belichick, I have him doing some everything. Uh, 16, Arizona took Greg Newsom. Got to replace Pat Pete. That's that's why I went there. Uh, the Raiders lost a lot of old linemen, so I picked up Tevin Jenkins, who was the next guy on the board. Uh, Miami went with Edge to help out on their defense, and they're going to keep the hometown guy at home with Jalen Phillips. Uh, 19, the Washington football team took Trayvon Morig to, to kind of let that – Back end work with that front because they front end work. If you get some uh, ball hawks in the back end, that's gonna be good for for Washington. Um, the Bears, Bears took Jeremiah Owasu Kormaya, who I think is probably one of the most elite athletes in this draft. I, I think that that highly of him. Probably should have did take a film on him, but I didn't. Uh, Quiddy Pay, which I think is the second. I think Quiddy Pay is the second edge in my on my board. I think he would no. Aziz was number two. Aziz was number two on my board. Jalen was number one. Uh, Quiddy was number three. But I got the Colts taking Quiddy. I got the Titans taking Aziz. And they're going back-to-back picks. Uh, the Jets taking linebacker Collins. He, I think he'll be like the, a weak linebacker. And he probably can beat Peanut out for that job and play alongside of um, uh, the the linebacker from Alabama. He used to play with the Ravens. I'm just having brain force today. I guess because he don't play with the Ravens anymore. I kind of lost his name. But uh, y'all know who I'm talking about. Former Ravens linebacker. Playing with the Jets now. And not Peanut. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers don't have a running game. So I think it's a no-brainer that they get Najee Harris. Who's, to me, by far the best running back in this class. Uh, 25. Barrymore goes in to play some defensive line for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Because they lost Yannick. They lost Calais. And I don't remember them really even replacing those guys. I think they still got the uh, athletic kid from LSU. A couple years ago, uh, I can't remember his name either. He was red, but he played like an edge defensive end type type deal for him. And Bad Boy go in and play some one and and uh, three technique for him. Uh, Cleveland takes like to me, Cleveland's roster is, is stacked, and they just take BPA for their probably their worst position, which I think is O line, and their O line is decent. So they take Leatherwood and slide him in there and get ready for the future. Uh, Ravens, could Ravens need edge, interior O line, and receiver. I think Bateman was the best player up there out of those, you know, three different positions. So I gave the Ravens Bateman. Um, and it's up in the air with, with Bateman and um, Terrence Marshall for, like, Ravens fans. I personally like Marshall. But based off the rankings here, you know, I went with Bateman because I don't think you can go wrong with either one. Uh, Caleb Farley to New Orleans to kind of help them defensively because they, in the secondary, you know, just think about over the years when New Orleans have, have failed short in the playoffs. Somebody in that secondary did something crazy. 
Somebody in their secondary did something crazy in the playoffs. And I ain't going to say it made them lose the game, but it contributed. All right, 29, I think A-Rod finally gets a number two. And Terrence Marshall will be able to eat on side of Devontae. And Devontae is a certified animal. Certified. Uh, Buffalo Bills take Eric Stokes to go alongside their good cornerback. Um, Stokes will get a lot of balls thrown at him because you don't really want to test that guy on the other side. Um, Kansas City at 31, they need tackles. They lost both tackles. Um, I don't know if they picked up anybody in free agency because I don't follow them that hard. But uh, Cosme can give them a guy that can they, they can try to build for toward the future. And then as far as Tampa Bay's roster, they pretty much brought everybody back and going to try to run it back with the with the same team. But, um, you know, you can't go wrong with an interior guy to, you know, just in case injury pops off. And um, so that's my mock draft. This is Coach Evans with Sip the Films. This is my mock draft one point only, as they say. Uh, the draft is not this Thursday, but next Thursday. And so um, we'll get you some more content out, and uh, we'll talk about that um, that Instagram that Mark Andrews can't that put out today. We'll talk about that tomorrow, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Coach Evans out. Peace.